Hey guys, today I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Bluetooth not available problem I've had with my MacBook Pro Retina. I had this problem where my MacBook Pro gets into the state where Bluetooth is no longer working. The little Bluetooth icon that I normally have in the status bar gets grayed out. If you uh, mouse over it, it shows you Bluetooth is not available and you can't get Bluetooth to work. I started having that problem in 2016, I think, and then finally I couldn't find any information about it in Google. Very few people were talking about it. So I made a couple of videos about it and I put an article on Tech 128 about it. Now in my first video, all I really said was I'm having this problem and the only way I have to fix it is to restart my Mac. If I restart my Mac, Bluetooth comes back. And then over the course of November, because I made the first video on November 7, 2016, the problem started happening more frequently and restarting the Mac didn't solve the problem. So in the second video, I talk a little bit more about it. The solution that I had was reset the system management controller or SMC. And in that video, I show you how to do it. I think I even have a link over there to the tech support article on apple.com about how to reset the SMC. The link might be in my article on Tech128. You can check that out. That pretty much solved the problem for me. You know, my first video had about 5,000, over 5,000 views. The second one, over 8,000 views. So there are definitely a number of people that are having these problems too. Now, once I did this reset of the SMC on my MacBook Pro Retina, I really didn't have the Bluetooth not available problem too many times after that. I went months before I had it again, maybe even five or six months, and then either shutting down the computer or just resetting the SMC again solved the problem. But now, fast forward to October 2017, and I've had the Bluetooth not available problem twice in the last week. And I would actually even say it's worse. Now, before going on, let me show you my MacBook Pro. So I have the MacBook Pro. It's the Retina 15-inch model, mid-2015. And you can see the rest of the specs here. Now, I'm still running OS uh, 10L cap. I haven't updated to Sierra. I haven't updated to High Sierra. And honestly, I don't think updating to Sierra or High Sierra is going to do anything to solve this problem with Bluetooth. Okay, so over the last week, I've had two issues where I've had the Bluetooth not available problem. Restarting the machine and doing an SMC reset didn't solve the problem. The way that I got Bluetooth to start working again was to just keep shutting down the computer, keep resetting the SMC until finally I started up the computer and Bluetooth was back. That took like five or six times of going through that cycle before I got Bluetooth back. So is that what fixed the problem? I really don't know. All I know is that's what I did and Bluetooth started working. And I had to do that both times. When I have this problem, I'm always wondering, is there something I'm doing with my Mac that's causing this problem to happen more frequently or less frequently? Or were there any other symptoms or side effects? Well, the first time that I had this recently, within the last week, I had left the computer plugged into an external monitor, mini display port, the Thunderbolt 2 port. I had forgot to plug the AC adapter in. So the computer completely discharged while it was plugged into the external monitor. And when I woke it up, Bluetooth wasn't working. I have no idea whether that has anything to do with the problem, but that was what happened. And then the second time I did it, uh, I had been using the computer at night. It wasn't plugged into anything, no power. I had maybe 70 or 60% of the battery left, put the computer to sleep. And then when I got up the next morning and picked it up to use it, the battery had been completely drained while the computer was supposedly sleeping. Bluetooth didn't work. And then again, that same cycle of five or six times restarting and resetting the SMC. And eventually Bluetooth came back. So I don't have any more insight into this problem than I did over the last year, other than that it's starting to happen again. And it seems like it's a little bit harder to get Bluetooth working again. If I have the Bluetooth not available problem again, I'm going to make an appointment at the Apple Genius Bar and try and take the computer in while Bluetooth is not working and have them take a look at it and see if they can run some diagnostics. Probably what's going to happen is by the time I shut it down, get it over to the Apple Store and start it up over there, Bluetooth is going to be working again. But maybe something will show up on a diagnostic even when Bluetooth is working. All right, hey, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to do an update. I know some of you guys have been following the channel only for this reason. And if you're having this problem or you have a potential fix or some thoughts on it, leave a comment below on the video or in the article on tech128.com. All right, I'll talk to you later.